Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I really do appreciate it when you guys record questions and upload them to your YouTube account uh, so that I can respond to them. And uh, hopefully you have a YouTube account. Uh, and I know many of you email me on YouTube. It's difficult to track email through YouTube, so email me directly. Chris at Perillo.com is my email address, and I check my email every, well, five minutes, and I'm due in another three minutes, so I better make this quick. There are... Ah! No, I wasn't expecting that. Um, sorry. Uh, I didn't... Uh, there's a question here from the community at live.perillo.com. Hi, Chris. My name is Bill Greco, also known as Bill OMG. When you buy a new computer or install an operating system on your pre-existing computer, where in line do you put the antivirus? Do you install it before you do your updates or do you do it afterwards? The reason I ask this is because my sister bought a new computer with Vista and she installed AVG antivirus and she then scanned her computer and already found two viruses. This is why I ask. You have a great show. Thank you, sir. Happy holidays. Thank you so much, Bill. I appreciate the question. Uh, the answer, of course, is before you run any kind of software update or install anything else, get your security software up and running before you even get online if you have the option because you never know. Now, Vista certainly is a, a bit more locked down than earlier versions of Windows, but that doesn't mean that you're free and in the clear. Uh, if you don't scan for nasties before installing new software, well, you don't know if that new software installation will be corrupted because of the fact that there are nasties currently sitting on your computer. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, what if I've done a clean install, I wipe the drive, install the operating system from scratch, could I have a virus? Does it come with Windows? Well, some people might argue that uh, Windows is a virus, but that, that's a different argument for a completely different video. Uh, you know, it's... It's not necessarily inside the operating system. It may be inside of programs that you may have downloaded before and are reinstalling, or it, the virus or spyware may be hiding inside of your documents folder, whether you backed it up or whether you had it on a separate hard drive in that computer. Um, it's those places that are likely going to be where a virus or spyware is going to be hiding uh, in the short and uh, long term. So definitely, I would uh, suggest installing you know, any kind of anti-spyware. And of course, we've recommended super anti-spyware in the recent past with the coupon that gives you uh, $10 off. Um, we've got, uh, for antivirus, AVG is just fine. It's the one that I recommend because it's free. Uh, for, uh, I guess, I don't know, uh, what else do you guys use? Uh, and I know I've asked this question before, but everybody's got an opinion and... and uh, you know, this is your chance to share it, other than just saying first, if you were the first to comment on a video. I appreciate those first comments. However, it'd be nice for you to contribute back to the community, not just ask questions, but also answer questions. I mean, we're always here to help. That's my uh, recommendation as a computer enthusiast, but also a, a somewhat of an expert. I, I've never really claimed to be an expert. I'm just a guy who enjoys this stuff, and hopefully you do too. If you have any other recommendations for Bill and him, any member of his family, or maybe for your family, by all means, feel free to suggest away. Either leave a video follow-up response or blog about this video, embed it in your own site. It doesn't matter. I love it when people embed our videos. And then, of course, you're also welcome to email me with any suggestions or recommendations, possibly tips. Maybe you've got a top five tips of keeping your computer protected uh, when you reinstall Windows, or maybe top five tips of a, another kind altogether. Let me know. My email address, again, is chris at perillo.com. And our chat room is currently just hopping up and down. Look at that. Boy, there you're just... I'm going to bounce out of my chair. Dang it. Why is she whapping me? She's apparently whapping me. Hang on. Cat, why are you whapping me? Why am I getting whapped? I, I'm not... Let, oh, she wants She wants to talk. Okay, Cat. Take it away. Thank you. I have an excellent point to add to this video. Never, ever, ever update to SP2 for Windows XP if you even think you may have any kind of infections on there that can cause dangerous problems 
serious Windows operating problems and you will lose your operating system most likely. Yeah. If you have SP1 or no service packs on XP, make sure you check for viruses and spyware prior to updating to SP2. That is critical. Yeah. Point well taken. Thanks for that addition. Now, Kat, since you've... Uh... What I find interesting is that Microsoft solved this problem once already. Uh, with Windows Server 2003, after you installed it, as part of the installer, it used a special like version of the Windows Firewall to let you get the updates before your computer was on the Internet all the way, hmm. so that these viruses and worms couldn't infect the computer before you had finished downloading and installing all the updates. But they didn't include this technology in Windows Vista. Well, see, that's the thing. If it's not a consumer-grade operating system, consumers are never going to know about it. So maybe Microsoft did that for a reason, or maybe it just didn't make a Vista, and it's likely not going to make Vista Service Pack 1, 2, or 3, and might not even make Windows 2047, or whenever the next version of Windows is coming out. That, by the way, was Alan, and these two people you will find uh, chatting away. Cat, do you want to... Tell uh, everybody out well, there. Didn't include it, in XP because XP hmm. came out before 2003. Well, yes, but well, did it? Oh, no, it didn't. It came may have come out before XP Service Pack 2, but not XP the first edition. The first they're asked, they're saying they didn't include it in the first edition of XP, and I'm saying they didn't because they didn't invent it until after XP had already come out. All right, fair enough. See, we're always debating this stuff. So what are you waiting for, Cat? Tell them where to find us. Sure thing, Chris. You guys can typically find us talking tech anytime, day or night. Heck, we might even help you learn how to properly protect your PC. Come on and join us anytime, day or night, in one place. Live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.